Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Panchas and welcome back to Broken Lords tutorial slash playthrough. It is Friday afternoon, which means that I'm in this kind of funky mood where I just kind of sit here with my cool voice and talk to myself in front of my microphone. No, just kidding. No, I mean, I'm not kidding. It is Friday afternoon and I am kind of feeling, I don't know, a little funky. Not even sure if you can call it funky, but that's how I feel right now. Regardless, we've got things to do. I forgot to rename this city. I don't even know how I want to rename it. I need cool ideas. I'll think about it later. For now, there are a few things I need to do. Of course, this turn is almost over, but there are a few things I can still do. Like, for example, I can move my guys slightly further away, which is not going to help me much. What I wanted to do and I cannot, is to move my guys this style over here, so that those Warlocks would not be able to catch to me on the next turn and attack me. Because they can easily beat my army, I think you have no doubts about that. However, uh, that was not possible. Of course it is winter, so their movement is reduced, but they still have two movements, which is enough to get to me in one turn, unfortunately. I'll go ahead and try to fight them, or increase the Siege Cocoon, per se, with my bigger army, but this will have to wait, since it's winter, it's gonna take forever. So what else am I going to do? Well, I'm gonna go back into Soul Eater, and I'll reassign my Brokelot hero to this city. It will take him five turns to be reassigned to anything else, but during this time he's gonna give me quite a bit of dust, as well as increase my die income, which I will need quite a bit of, dies I mean, since I'm now officially controlling two cities, which means that the cost of activating boosters has increased, and along it, the cost of using Empire Plan has also increased, which is something I will have difficulties dealing with, let's just say that. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Also, as you can see, I queued up the sewer system in my capital. I will need it now, since my global happiness is going to be lower and it's going to be harder to activate the... what's it called again? Oh yeah, die booster. So, sewer system is going to be useful. Additionally, you know, extra approval, not too shabby. So, I think it's about time I do it. I think I could... Maybe next turn, but I could attack this city and capture it. One militia against four stalwarts, even if this militia has fortification, yeah, I think I can do it easily. But, question is, do I want to? Because I kind of tempted to do something else instead. Let's end this turn, nothing else I need to do right now. What I could try to do is take over this city and then sign a peace treaty with the other mages before attacking their last city. I'll let their last city grow and then I'll declare war on them again and then take it. The bad side of this, waiting and the lack of road connection with my capital, not a big fan of that. The good side of this, a lot of free technologies. Okay, so the enemy AI of course did catch up to me and they have declared a battle. I'm going to retreat from this battle, I'm not looking to gain anything from fighting in here. The enemy has an army that is way too powerful. If those were just warlocks, maybe. But there are also harmonites and the zealots, yeah, two zealots are the biggest problem for this army right now. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the siege up, but I'll be killed off in a matter of moments now. In fact, I would love to... I should have split my army, I should have kept like one guy over here and run away with the other guys, but it's now a little bit too late because I wasted my movement. Maybe it's for the best, I don't want it to be cheesy. Or too cheesy at the very least. So what I'm going to do is have this army... Mm. I need to decide if I want to keep the city alive and conquer this one or not. I mean, this one I think there will no conquering will be done. I need a bigger army, I would need this army to help me out. I mean, this army and this army to work together in order to capture anything really. So there is that. But let's see what I can gain from trying my strategy. Right now the AI doesn't even want to send a truce treaty, despite the fact that they are exhausted, which is rather strange. What do they have? They have Barrel Covenant, Alchemy Workshop, Management Science, Central Market, Imperial Coinage, Shipyard, and Geomic Labs. Quite a lot of tier 2 techs, nothing all that amazing though. For an endless AI, they're way behind, but this is of course as a result of me having the cities under siege for so long. I have devastated their empire. They should be begging me to stop war now, because they're, they're suffering quite severely from staying at war. Look at that, they have no dust. Endless AI usually has like 1 billion dust, and those guys don't have it. At the minute, they must have gotten from some kind of shenanigans means, because they don't have the technology to get it otherwise. Gold, they probably have a mine of. Anything else to look at? Not really. So there is that. Had a look at, we'll look at the technologies. Not very tempting, a little bit tempting, sure, but 
I'm not sure if it's worth it. I kind of want them to just be dead, honestly. It might be an evil thing to say, but it is also how I feel about those guys. Okay, so one thing I need to do for sure is keep at least one of those Star Wars alive for a little bit longer. And it's cheaper to keep the Star Wars with less HP, I mean XP, alive for longer. But also preferably one that, okay, this one has least XP, you're gonna heal up and you'll survive the next retreat, the, other, the rest of this army will not. Too bad guys, you lived a happy life. I kept the city under siege for quite a long time, so I'm kinda satisfied with this result regardless. You know what, I think no true treaties will be signed. I might try to streak with the next AI, but I really need to start working on those road connections and whatnot. So, I have a better income and additionally, you know, additional city. Not too very shabby, so I'm gonna take it. What else do I need? I mean, in my newly conquered cities, uh, city, the one I just conquered, I'll try to create an army. For an army, I will need a conscription center. But I also really do need to have Imperial Coinage. But that is not as pressing of a concern as it might feel like. So I'm gonna get Conscription Center first, and then I'm gonna start working on army, and then I'm gonna start trading. I think it's okay. I really, really want to have Archimel Workshop, but since I don't even have Titanium right now, or Imperial Market, it's not worth it to get this technology as of yet, because what would I do with it? Not much, really. So there is that. I think I'm gonna attack those guys. I won't be able to capture the city this turn. I mean, 52 fortification plus whatever HP the militia has. Yeah, it will be a tough cookie to crumble. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to use English in such a way, but you know what I mean. It's not gonna be super easy. Still, let's try and go ahead and find it. I let the city develop for a little bit. It has two population. It's gonna pay for itself, I think, already, so it's gonna be good enough. Anything else? All oh, right, yes, I do have the road technology now from starting this turn, so I need to work on that. 15 tens, not very good, but since I do have a hero in the city now, who is giving me extra dust from dust, if you know what I mean, I can move a little bit of population into my other production. Only a little bit, don't want to overdo it, but yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of dust over there. Although, to be fair, I now gain 9 dust per 10, which means that it is more efficient to... No, it's not more efficient to walk dust instead of industry yet. It would be more efficient to walk dust instead of industry if the difference would have been one bigger. So I need one more extra dust from population in order to just walk dust and ignore industry completely. So right now it is still worthwhile to actually walk on industry. But not by much. I'm gonna keep the rest of the population on dust production. You also stay on dust production for the time being. I kinda want the smell foundry. I kinda really do want the smell foundry to be done already. 51 dust. Oh, let's do it. It's not very efficient use of dust, especially since I don't have prisoners, slaves, and volunteers, but I'll, I did it because I'm lazy. So let's go ahead and have a fight. I don't think we need to manual or spectator this. I'm gonna auto battle and not should. Oh, he died. Nice. So the city is now mine. I'm gonna. I could sit in it, he is in it just to save some upkeep, but I do need to start moving south ASAP to capture or try to capture the enemy city if at all possible. This city is definitely not gonna pay for itself, I don't think. And it's actually gaining dust, interestingly enough. So this is, yeah, it is paying for itself, so that's good. It is lowering my global happiness though. So in that sense, it is not paying for itself at all. It is actually detriment. Does it have any, of course, only the city storage, just a few game. Well, the city storage is gone now, so I can start working on other things. Oh yeah, sure. Milfadr will be done in no time. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised that it is going to be that ever, but it does actually have one city tell that gives the city industry production. It's just losing some from winter and rebellion. <laughs> yeah, I think I can keep working on the build fund. Rate will be here, like I said, in no time. And yeah, right away, it's almost here, guys. I'm about to have a road connection. Everything will be jelly. <laughs> oh, it's actually kind of funny. Alrighty, what do I need now? A uh, good governor here. I need it quite badly. Did I move with this army? I don't think I did. I think I forgot, honestly, which is quite a bad... Whatever. I will deal with that, I guess. Oh, I maybe can move? No, I cannot. AI is too fast. Oh well. So I'm gonna retreat again, losing the entirety of my army, which is a little bit of a bummer. I wish I could fight with those three and retreat with the last one, but nah. That would be, I guess, too cheesy, so... You keep the siege up. I'm gonna heal you up again, because F you, AI. And with the rest of my armies, I'm gonna start going down south and try to kill the enemy off. Now, the army I have is not entirely strong enough. Oh, there's another AI over here. I didn't even notice that. Hi, Res, whoever you are. I'm, 
I guess I'm gonna need to meet my new neighbor soon and probably declare war on him soon afterwards. But for the time being, I don't care about that too much. I need both of my armies down south to start the siege again and see if I can win the fight. Honestly, the enemy does have a very strong army, but if they don't have a hero, and if I go in with fully healed army, which I can heal them up whenever I need to, and if I give my army also an additional hero, I think I can do it. Especially if I starve out this army. Then it's a no-brainer easy victory. So I'll keep this guy alive for a little bit longer now. And what else do I need to do? Let's let me think for a while. I think that there is nothing else I need to do in any of my cities, honestly, right now. Right away, I'm going to buy out when I can. Honestly, though, do I need to? Because it will not be done in the second city forever, anyway. So I might as well walk on dust as much as I can. It's going to take 16 turns for right of way. But it's going to take almost 800 in this city right now. <laughs> Which is obviously not entirely, you know, true because it's going to increase soon. But still, regardless, you know what I mean. I don't need to rush right of way in my other city. I could buy out extra population in this city, it's gonna be fairly cheap still. However, right now I'm just gonna keep the city as a souvenir more than anything. Because what is more important to me is to get a new hero ASAP. And they cost a lot. In a few turns though, I will be able to get one. And I'm looking forward to it. I need a wild walkers here more than anything right now. And I'm gonna put him in Chach, or whatever it's, the city is called. I'm gonna rename it so badly. Either way, I'm gonna put a Wild Walkers here in that city and start spamming some more Star Wars from it. I know what you're thinking, Star Wars, again, they are not gonna be very useful, are they? Well, they are, because I killed the enemy that is the best counter to Star Wars, that being the other majors. So, anything, anybody I find now, Star Wars is gonna be more efficient. And you guys, yeah, have fun breaking my siege. I'm just gonna keep walking backwards, heal up, and make, call it a day. Honestly, one thing I think that should be done about retreat functionality is that whenever you retreat, retreat, you should also be forced to move, like in endless space. Like, at least one tile, or maybe your entire movement, although that could be too much, but one tile moved, move forced on a unit that retreats would be fine. Of course, in this situation, it would change nothing, because, obviously, I mean, I would heal up regardless, and I would still be in a siege, but now, the enemy would be able to chase me out of this hex. It's not like I actually need to suggest to the devs. So, yeah, I need to, I need to do that. Anyway, there is that movement, it has been done, I can heal up my army. Uh, I would rather not, I need to hire a new hero ASAP, and I'm not gonna be fighting with them just yet, so I can kill them wounded, which is, sounds kinda mean, but that's what I'm gonna do, so deal with it. Kajnor is now gonna give me more resources, I think, per 10, because it is only unhappy, and it's no longer winter, so it's nice. It's giving me two extra dust, I believe, which is okay. As for Soul Eater, yeah, it's giving me more dust as well. And everything is gonna be jelly. I don't think I need to worry about anything else for the time being. Empire made being walked on and then... Am I in era 3? No, I'm in era 2 still. And I have already retrofitted the Star Wars, but... Do I want the Riders or the Star Wars now? Good question. I don't know what is this Empire though, so... I think I'm gonna make my decision based on that. For the time being, I'm still not making anything in Chak region. I will later, but for the time being... In order to make something efficiently, I'll need to have more population in this region regardless. And additionally, uh, I'll need to spend dust on that, right? And I want to spend my dust on a hero right now more than anything else, so there is that. Research complete, AI keeps declaring battles, uh, obviously I'm not gonna reinforce, and I'm gonna retreat again, because a few AI basically. It's AI, I have no remorse for AI. So there is that done, I'm gonna reinforce with more armies, and now the city is gonna start losing its fortification really, really quickly, in fact. I... you know what? You've done your job, you're gonna die now, I think. That's what it's gonna happen. I could sell him though, as well. Yeah, you've done your job, you're gonna be a slave now. It seems kinda cold, I admit, but... Uh, I don't know. Taxes, good of... many outweighs the good of... A Star Wars? I don't believe that, by the way, but still, let's pretend that it's the case. So, regardless, anything else? Can I hire a hero? I don't think I can. I can hire a Drider. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. Oh, AI has been selling some Warlocks. Tough times, I guess. Also, we know there is a Volter faction. Good to know. Anything else? Well, I can't hire a hero this turn, but next turn I'll be able to hire some of the cheaper ones. So, there is that. Okay. I'm curious if the enemy will try to attack me. Actually, in case they will, I need to heal up, I think. I don't think they will attack me. Will they? Maybe I should have healed up. Will they attack me? Uh, 
Oh, hi there. Speaking of the Volters, I just met him. But the AI did not attack me, as you can see. Anyway, go away, Volters. I don't care about you. Actually, where are you? Show location. You are... I don't see them anywhere here. I guess they must have paid for the impact plan that gives them more vision. Or they moved out of here after discovering me. Either way, Volters are in this direction. Good, I'll kill them later. I need to kill them, in fact, before they get science victory, so that's important. Good to know. Alright, new Empire plan. Now, unfortunately, I can't give my units extra attack again, especially since now I have three cities. I really need extra deaths and I need lower unit cost production, and thankfully I can afford both of these. Anything else I don't really care about. I mean, it would be great to get extra science, happiness, and attack, and it would also be great to be a billionaire in real life, but, you know, you can't have everything. Although, of course, you should work on being a billionaire if you can. That's a side topic, though. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep the city up. Next turn, the units inside the city were stacking and taking damage, which is great. Let's get a new hero ready as well. So what do I have out of the heroes I can buy? Not a single one of guys here, eh? Well, exclusive heroes will run out in next turn, which means... Actually, it probably means that it's two turns, because I think they can also be exclusive for zero turns. But in two turns, I'll get a new selection of three heroes, and one of those could be a Wild Walkers hero. It's... I guess, though. Let's see what I have, though, because maybe heroes I have are amazing. Dust Boost 3. Not too bad, but I kind of want Industry. Dust Boost 1, alright. I see where you're going. Industry Boost 2, Food Boost 3. Ah, uh, no. Food Boost 3 would just annoy me. No, okay, Kudus heroes are always good, but he's got only influence boost 1, so that's not that great, even though it's a Kudus hero, so he would sooner rather than later be amazing as a result of impassionate preacher ability, but still not a big fan of that. And this guy, influence boost 1, another amazing, science boost, and army boost, science boost again, and those guys, army boost, he's got no boosts for city and no boosts for city. Pretty bad selection, and I need for somebody for industry. Strikes Fun does have an industry boost too, but it's not really all that great, and a lot of Necrophage abilities just give you food, so he would not be a very good governor for me regardless. I'm not a big fan of that. I can bite into the Chosen, and I would gain influence boost 1, so extra 1 influence per level. Not a very big deal though, at all. And his extra abilities, you know, extra science, extra influence, extra dust. I mean, dust is nice, but still, I need industry more than anything else. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold on for two extra turns with buying a new hero. And if I'm gonna do that, let's go ahead and heal up the army and start working on this city being awesome. So, conscription center, baby. And I'm gonna give you extra population as well. Although, first, I'm gonna make this city pay for itself, I think. By giving it more population. Like, quite a bit more population. Like, a lot more population. Alrighty then. Now I've got zero deaths, but I gained 222 deaths per 10. So those guys are gonna pay for themselves fairly quickly, I think. So there is that. Mill Foundry is gonna be made in an eternity, but still it's gonna be made nevertheless. I should have actually made more population in this city since I gained 9 deaths per 10. And I should utilize it a little bit more. But whatever, what's done is done. Now, that was apparently not entirely 222 deaths per 10, so now I have 219, so that's a little bit weird, but I'm not gonna think about it too much, I guess. Let's go ahead and inspect. Something happened somewhere, I'm not sure what exactly. Either way, extra attack on units, that is great. Now my army can actually hit the enemy, which... Oh! Alright, mildly jealous roving class is not something you wanna see pretty much ever, because they're gonna market ban you. Now, it's not a big deal for me right now, but if they market ban me before I hire a hero, then it will be a big deal. You can unmarket ban yourself. It's possible, but it costs a ton of influence. And they can market ban you again at 10 afterwards. So, I need to kill those guys, even before I kill the voters. As I don't really do. Roving class usually have a big military though for AI. No reason why, they just do, because AI always makes big military, but roving class cannot declare war, so they just kinda sit around with big military and do nothing. So there is that. It is a problem. So let's have a quick look at the stats screen, and actually activate the die booster as well. I'm gonna need that, thank you very much, game. So stats screen, of course my score is way lower than anybody else's, except for the other mages, who I have devastated. And I can do the same to the next faction, but they have a very powerful military. Now, Roving Class actually lost some military recently, and they're not on this powerful, scary curve like the Voters are. And Roving Class, I need dead ASAP because otherwise they're gonna market ban me. 
And Roven Clans also have more cities by one, but still. Yeah, Roven Clans are my next target. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to kill them, but I'll try regardless. They have less technologies than voters, obviously, but not too few still. Alright, what about Dust? Oh wow, they're not doing great with dust whatsoever. That's actually good. Science income is of course great. Empire approval, I'm obviously the lowest. And diplomacy, yeah, whatever. Nobody really cares. Right now we're all pretty equal because AI doesn't care about diplomacy too much. Alright, so those guys start taking like, damage. Good. Zealot is already going down in health. Really good. As for the heroes, what about those? Okay, new exclusives. And there is indeed a Wild Walker's gun with industry boost too. It's not a great boost, but he's also got an army attack boost, so I could use him as general if necessary. And since I'm gonna give him functioning Zomniac, I will be able to just switch him around willy-nilly, and it's gonna be great. I will be also able to give him this amazing bow I got, if I recall correctly. This, this is the playthrough I got the bow, right? I think it is. So I'm really happy about that. Also got the Chosen. Well, he's better than Tinu, and oh, this selection has also reset. There is no longer Tinu, but there is Exit, which means that somebody bought out the Tinu. Exit, oh, industry efficiency too. Really? That's pretty great. That's really great. So that's two extra industry per population in city with additional three. So that's extra five industry per city and extra bonus from the Z hero's ability. What about... Hey, get back over here. What about... This guy, he's got industry boost, so that's just industry boost, and then he's got other things like this, and yeah, I mean those things are great, and Insomniac is also useful, and he's just useful in general, but this guy, which one was it? Exit the Chosen, I really hope nobody buys him anytime soon, let's just put it this way, because I want him, I really want him, like really badly, he's gonna be better than a Wild Walkers here. Does he have any levels by the way? I keep going back to this panel, sorry. Yes, he does have a free level. That's great! And he's gonna be way cheaper than the one walkers here as well, so yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that whatsoever. So, anything else I need to do? Well, no, I'm sending Dust to buy out this hero. Hopefully I'll be able to buy out the next hero afterwards, and they have three heroes, and this would be great. Four heroes would be even better. Five heroes would be great. And, yeah, you know where I'm going. Actually, five heroes tops. Because I have four cities, so four governors plus one army leader, who, and one of those governors can also be an army leader if necessary. Anyway, animators are about to die. I'm not gonna end this with the cast before they do. Oh, that, that, that's a market ban! I know it's a market ban! No! I just know it! No! No, please, no! 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 <laughs> uh, you're so dead! You're just dead! There's. No, you're dead in the water. How much does it cost to repeal that? A hundred effing influence. He is dead. He's just so... He's deader than any dead man has been dead in the history of deadness. He's just this dead. Alright, F dust, I guess. I need influence and I'm gonna actually sacrifice a lot of dust just to get this influence up ASAP. That's 48 influence. You know what? I want my m heroes. I really do. 69 influence per 10. That is a sweet number. I do like it. But then again, 9... Uh, you know what? 69... As great of a number as it is, it wouldn't be enough. So, yeah. <sighs> I just... Uh, it, it had to happen, I guess. Right? It just... A few AI. Just... I'm gonna have them in the beast so bad. Oh yeah, thank you for, for reminding me about research. Oh yeah, great! I just got Imperial College as well! That's lovely! <laughs> oh, AI. Just... I don't even know. I don't even know. Alright, so let's think. What else do I need? What can I assimilate in my faction? Uh, Silex would be useful-ish. Devils as well. Neither of the two would be particularly useful though, for me. I mean, it would be nice to get the extra bonus, so I am tempted to get Native District. Or Naive District, as you can call it as well. Why not? Extra science is great, but for that I need extra titanium, and I guess I might as well finish my faction quest. Will that do it? I don't think it would. I would need probably like acropovistics too. But they wouldn't be useless anymore, because there's a river over here actually, so that's nice. They would be semi-useless, because there isn't a lot of this river, but still, some river nevertheless. You keep on dying, that makes me happy, and the city is totally gonna be mine next turn. Or the turn after that. But still, I'm not ending this with the cast before I kill the other mages. 
I would like to say that I'm also not ending this video cast before I start the clear war on the Roven class, but this would be a little bit silly. I'm not ready to declare war on them just yet. I'll need more heroes and more armies for this. Obviously, I need to declare war on, on them ASAP. Like, it's really important that I start besieging the cities, and what's that now? Oh, now you want a twist for zero gold? Oh, thank you, this is <laughs> worth it. Are you out of your mind? Like, seriously, what did you just think? Alright, and oh, they don't want to give me any technology still. Because. <laughs> oh, you're a funny person, you're dead. Like, seriously, he is dead. He just lost his city defenders. He is dead this time. But before that happens, can I just F this guy in the B? Like, seriously? Market ban removal. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have a hundred yet. Okay, next turn then, I guess. I can try to trade this guy a market ban removal, but he'll just repeal that next turn, and if I give something, then this will ba uh, boost this AI's everything. So I don't want to do this. I'm gonna forcefully remove the market ban for myself, even though it's gonna cause a lot of influence. But whatever. Armages, be there. Thank you. I could and should have given my army the Brocolos here as well, but whatever. Do I even need to play this in manual battle? Yes, because this is misleading. AI is actually gonna be scarier than that. So let's play this in manual battle. I'm gonna discover some train as well. And you know what? It's the death of other majors. They deserve. I mean, they don't deserve anything. They kind of deserve to be dead, and that's uh, that's it. But you know, I might as well try to make the end count. No, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, this guy on the high ground. I like this idea. You wanna know why? Because this means. Let me think for a second. This means that this guy is gonna have a pretty good damage boost, which means that he's also gonna be able to heal for him better, which is pretty good, all things considered. Now, I am gonna cluster my units up for extra morale bonus and just pray that the enemy does not target this guy. They could, but I think they would much rather attack my hero. This is a risk I'm taking here, isn't it? It is a pretty big risk. Uh, but I think AI really likes to get a hero. Oh, it could be pretty bad, though. Let's see what happens. I'm just kind of curious, honestly, if anything. So you dare say, you do not have a range to those zealots, but I think they're gonna try to move towards you. So let's base everything on that. As for you, dear says, you try to move forward and attack the zealots, assuming they will spawn anywhere in that vicinity. So the zealots... You just, you know what, whatever you do, just focus on Zealots, I think. I'm willing to trust you that you're gonna move to the right area. Let's just believe that, shall we? Actually, I don't trust you whatsoever, so I'll make you move to this tile, so that... Because I really need to clear the area under my banner, so that's why I'm giving those guys explicit orders to move, rather than anything else. And you, oh, you're standing on top of a banner. Didn't notice that. It's good, though, because I don't want any Star Wars to spawn on this banner, this would be pretty bad. Your default action is hold your ground, but I do want you to try and kill those guys, if you have range for that. So, are they gonna move? Yes, but they're not gonna- No! They're smart! No! I didn't want- Okay, then. That could have been certainly way worse than it is right now. I'll tell you that for a fact. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, I kinda got super lucky over here. So some of my units lost their retaliation, and my Draken hero obviously moved to a worse position and healed up a unit that had full health, because why not? It's the smart thing to do. But I can't be salty about anything right now, because this miss saved my life. Of course, I was in a forest, so I didn't actually look what were the chances of miss. I don't care, I'm happy about this miss. Like, really, really very happy. Alrighty then, that's a weird formation I have going on right over here, but whatever, that doesn't matter too much. Draken Hero, yeah, I'm really happy you moved. Like, seriously, this changes everything for me. Yay, me. Alright, let's heal up this Star Wars because I want to save some dust on the Star Wars if possible. You moved over here and kill the bastard if that are possible. You moved over here-ish. As for you there, says, well, you try to kill this bastard, you try to kill this bastard, you just sit where you sit right now. Because I like this idea. You have fairly quick 10. In fact, the fastest 10 out of the other guys, so you'd move like this. And you guys just try to kill the other, the zealots. And if they fall, you, those guys will default into trying to kill somebody else. So I like this idea. Actually, maybe I should move this guy out of the forest just to make it easier for the other guys to attack as well. So you move out of the forest and then attack. 
Alrighty then, let's see what happens. Obviously, Azelot are gonna deal some nice amount of damage to me. Still not very bad. And the Warlocks are gonna make it a little bit more difficult for me. Because I gave my units order to move to other areas. So that's a little bit annoying. Not a very big deal, but whatever. I'm gonna heal up a little bit of HP with my Draken. And things are going wonderful. In fact, I'm gonna take a sip of tea just to celebrate that. So give me a second. Hmm. Of course, as it always is with Soul Leech, I can only ever heal up one unit. Oh, never mind, I healed up two. One of those units was only healed up for one HP, but I guess it's something, right? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't complain about that. Anyway, those Warlocks will probably not die this turn, which is a little bit annoying because they are gonna deal extra damage to me, so that's not super great. Let's see if I can maybe just maybe heal up my Star Wars a little bit. That would be great. If not, then whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, I will not be able to heal him whatsoever because he's gonna die this then. So that's a little bit of a shame. I wasn't able to heal anybody else either. Except for the Stalwart, so I guess somebody was healed. And the battle is won, and the animators are not dead! <laughs> that feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie about that. So this is good. My Empire is now way more powerful than it has been before, obviously. And now I can play catch up with the AI. Which is something that I normally wouldn't have been able to do, but look at my empire. Oh, look at the Roven Clan's empire. It's kinda trying to eat me from around the side. Which is a new word, by the way. But still, my empire is growing. My power is growing with it. And the enemy is gonna die, because I want them to die. Quite a lot of population in the city. Nice, it's gonna give me some extra dust, which is great. And there is that, I guess. I'm gonna keep those guys working on dust. You do need the mill foundry and also get rid of the seed storage. I knew you would have it. Go away. I have a gold extractor. Nice. Gonna get me some gold. Not gonna complain about that. And a new hero on the next turn, which is good. Anything else? Well, I'm working things pretty nicely over everywhere, I guess. So there's nothing else I really need to do right now. I'm gonna get my hero, put him in here. Get this conscription center finished and start making a very nice big in um, army. I can actually end this video cast right now, but before I do this... Uh, oh, I lost a Star Wars? Oh yes, I did. Oh, that's good to know. Before I do finish anything, I would like to explore those ruins. It's era 2, so ruins are slightly better. Unexplored ruins do get better as the time progresses, so this is something you can try and capitalize on. So there is that. Anything else I need to do? No, I can end this turn. And you know what? Next turn I'll hire a new hero. So ladies and gentlemen, it was Pancha, so also known as the Mighty Mix Spammer. Thank you very much for watching. And let's wait for the notifications in case they are important. Oh yeah, there is one very important one. And I'll see you online.